So, right after the Marie Altar first impression, we are gonna jump right into looking at Mr. Hassad of the Bright Shining Star, something like that. Not sure exactly, but uh, yeah, there he is. I wanna call him Drip Hassan, honestly, because first ascension alone is already like, I mean, come on, dude. You're gonna tell me that's not Drip? Like, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Looks cool. I like the mask too, and the hat. The hat is the MVP, for sure. Also, the background looks crazy. Like, can we just get some appreciation for that background? Like, look at the amount of details. That's so cool, man. He's like a modern Hassan. <laughs> dude, he did the same as Marifa. <laughs> They're insane. They're, they don't care, dude. They're just like, hmm. Yeah, so? What? Yeah, cool. Thanks. Like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> I want to be your friend. Also, wow, his eyes are really yellow and glowy. It almost looks like they glow in the dark. He's COVID assassin. <laughs> right, first ascension. Let's get it. Is this going to be the design we saw on the stream? I'm guessing yes. Yep, there you go. Ooh. So he has his mask like strapped in an interesting way. It's like a cross that goes in front of it. Also, hey, abs. You wanted abs? We got abs. <laughs> Dude, the mask is scary, though. Usually the Hassans don't really scare me that much with their mask. But, like, if you saw that coming at you, I'd be freaking scared, dude. And, yeah, he has that tattoo on his, like, you know, <laughs> above his crotch. I don't think it's the Caldea logo like some people on the reveal stream were thinking. I think it's just a coin. It just looks similar. Okay, wow. He, he, dude, he's like, don't touch too much. Okay, so he, he, he doesn't care too much for contact, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's such a fun little poke. He's like, what? This outfit doesn't work in the modern times? Oh, I see. So is that why he has Ascension 1? Because he got criticism? He's like, bro, ain't no one looking like that in 2020. He's like, bro, you, you gotta get some new drip. So I'm guessing that actually might be the reason because the way the uh, first Ascension looks. Well, that's funny. All right, the Sage Shed 3, let's go. What's the final design like? Is it also very different compared to the other two? Yeah, it is. Okay, I was not ready for that. He's fully exposed. Is that blush? Is he blushing? Also, wow, that is a cool color on the hair. Honestly, the white kind of looks good. All right, F8 Daimu. Show me the goods. Which ascension is it going to be based on? None of them? Oh wait, no, it's two, but with the hood off and the mask up, okay. Oh my god, they have feet for him, dude! God damn it, dude! <laughs> wow, it's such a nice view, too. I'm kind of mad. Why are you doing- no, no, uh, this is gonna awaken things in me. I'm- oh no. Why couldn't this be Marie Alter? Yeah, I guess they wanted Mar Marie to have the uh, booba focus. That makes sense. All right, let's see the sprites. Yeah, this is cool, actually. Pretty clean assassin look as well. Oh, I guess this is also a hood. And then the hood actually on in this one. Yeah, th this probably makes the most sense. This is probably the most practical look because it's very agile. This is like when you play Dark Souls, this is your decks build. So yeah, makes sense. This is the classic look. And then the first one, the new modern drip. Oh, dude, look at what are those. Uh, look at his shoes. Uh, he's stripped out. These are frame blue jeans. These are... Shoes that I picked up in Mexico. Is Boob on Ascension 3? Oh, it kind of does look like it. I'm gonna go with Drip anyway, because the Drip is balling. Right, uh, aesthetically, honestly, very good for a four star, I wanna say. Yeah, it's, especially the splash. I'd like, look at these backgrounds. Especially the first one. Like, they're, 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 so, they're, they're so different, then there's a lot of variety. Like, come on, bro. I think they cooked with him. Yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, talk about gameplay. So, he is a four star assassin and he has a 9k attack on base, which, from what I remember doing the tier list last uh, week, good timing, I guess, uh, that is actually very decent. It's not like the highest, not even close. But among four star assassins, it should actually be very solid. Definitely way above average. Cool. Assuming he's a DPS, would be kind of weird if he wasn't. So, yeah, that's not bad. Stats are fine. Deck wise, we got. Oh, triple quick. I mean, classy assassin. We're going back to the roots. And I assume the MP has to be quick then, too, right? What? Arts? Uh, what? Uh, what? Okay, um, interesting. I'm not sure how I love the combo of Arts MP with triple quick deck, but hmm, interesting. Uh, that was a shocker after seeing the deck. Hit counts, uh, Buster 2 hits, Arts 4, 6, or it, quick is a 6 hitter. And the extra is 5. What's his MP gain like? His MP gain, oh, it's 0.27, aww. 
Makes sense why the quick is so high then. But yeah, he's gonna at, le at least be completely shitting out stars. Even if his gains might not be super high, I don't know yet. Probably not super high. Stars will be real, even as an arts MP haver. Now, passives, what do we got? Uh, we got the assassin passive with the Hassan mask and everything. So that means uh, he has 10% star gen. He also has... Wait, this is the Avenger crit one. What? It's 8%, but why does he have it? And why is it only one of those things? This must be a lore thing. He wants to be Avenger. I mean, I guess the, the, the whole new singularity might be Avenger focused. So, you know what? Maybe makes sense. Also, the last one is for the Caldea Boys event. So, it's not a gameplay passive, really. So, that's it for the passives, these two. Crit damage should be good on him, because he probably gets a lot of star and he has a crit icon skill anyway. Now, his anti-append is against assassins. Wow, he really wants to compete with the Hassans, I guess. All right, let's see the MP. So, arts, unexpected, but uh, before damage, he gets quick up for one turn, scaling with overcharge. He gets arts up for one turn, scaling with overcharge. And then he gets MP damage. For three turns, that doesn't scale with overcharge, but hey, ramp up, okay. Three turns of MP damage before damage, and then AoE damage. And it's it also has a super effective mod, is against uh, hu man attribute enemies. And then also reduce own HP by 1k, demerit, okay. He can probably die to that too, actually. It doesn't say he can, so okay. Wow, that's a pretty loaded MP though, what? They're all good effects. On base, he gets... 20% quick and arts before damage for one turn and then scaling up to 40%. He gets 20% MP damage for three turns flat. That's just a normal effect. And then the damage, which is anti-man attribute, 150%. Wow, that's a great MP. Does he? He's a farmer, maybe, honestly. Also, it's a six hitter MP. Wow. With 0.27. It's probably not going to be the greatest refund ever, though. We'll see what is. He probably needs some batteries, though, to be a better re uh, farmer, but we'll see. None of the effects are bad. I mean, minus the demerit, of course, but even that's not too bad, I want to say. Uh, yeah, true. Assassins do have Valks, so he has some competition, of course, but hopefully his normal kit is better because Valks could use better skills, I'm not going to lie. Speaking of which, let's segue into talking about the skills. We get the main card types again. Much like the MP buffing them, he also has a skill. So self quick up three turns, self arts up three turns. When in a dark field, self attack up for three turns. Is that a new map trait or has that existed before? Dark maps? Has that existed before? I'm not sure. I don't remember anything that would be dark maps. Wait, does that work with Tez? No, I assume it doesn't because he only negates Sunfield. That doesn't mean the map becomes dark, right? He only cancels Sunfield. That would be cool, though, because they would actually probably have some synergy, too, if I had to guess. But yeah, Dark Field. We got a new map field thingy. And then if you're on that, he gets the three-turn attack buff. So on a six-turn cooldown, he gets 30% of the card types for three turns, and the attack up is 20%. I like this. This is great. I was afraid they were going to do 20 on the card types and then 30 on the attack. I like this. They put more emphasis on the guaranteed stuff. So now the Dark Field is a bonus instead of being the main prize. That's good. I love that they flipped the numbers this way. So at least it's not a deal breaker, hopefully, if you're not on a dark map. Let's see, does he have any other map synergy? Also, hey, evade icon. Does he have, like, protection from wind? I, it's, not, it's a different name, at least. Ooh, self-evade. Two hits, three turns. And then, before dealing quick damage, self-crit damage up for three turns. Okay. And this status lasts for three turns. And then he gets... Wait, is that a star gen up by three turn? Wow, they printed another star gen buff. It's been a while. I mean, they sometimes still do, but... Wow, he gets star gen for three turns. All right, let's see the numbers. On a six turn cooldown, it's a two hit, three time evade. He gets 10% crit damage before every quick attack for three turns. And then he gets 100% star gen for three turns. Bro, 100%. So even his MP will actually do some star gen then. Because I was like, there's no way. He already has so good quicks on his normal deck. He doesn't need star gen. But with this, because it's 100%, he can probably get some uh, stuff out of his MP as well. Yeah, w his quicks will be... With this active, they're better than Jax. They're literally... For stars, they will be better than Jax. If you have this skill active. It's probably overkill, if anything, but yeah. <laughs> you want stars? Yeah, you got it, dude. <laughs> but only on star gen. Jax still, you know, probably MP gains better. So, eh. It's not a bad skill, actually, on a six-turn cooldown. I like the flexibility on the uptime for the uh, hard defense as well. And then something to use the stars on. We have a crit damage icon. Thank God for that. Because he could probably use more damage. Self-crit damage up for three turns. 
when quick attacking, MP gauge up. Okay, for three turns, or that effect will last for three turns. And then also, MP gain for three turns from this skill. All right, let's see. Six turn cooldown, 50% crit damage. Awesome. He gets 10% gauge when using quick cards. And then 30% MP gain. Okay, so the MP gain is interesting because that will help his looping as well, right? For sure. I'm still guessing Valks will definitely loop better. If anything, he's probably going to be more boss-oriented, right? Because he's all about... He likes crits, too. He he seems to be pretty good for a 4-star, actually. <laughs> wow. I'm not. I, I'm still not sure how I feel about the Arts MP with the triple quick deck. Especially when he wants to have crit focus. But interesting, yeah. Yeah, they. I, I think that might be right, actually. Like, both Marie and him might be a bit worse than some existing competition when it comes to loop farming. But they still seem like they have uses in bosses anyway. So I wouldn't be too worried. He seems good, right? I, I kind of like what I'm seeing. Like, because uh, we just covered all the assassins like less than a week ago. Uh, most of the four stars still are still fresh in my head. He has way more tools than most of four star assassins still do. Like way more nice stuff that makes sense. Like nothing he has is actually bad. If I had to initially place him just looking at the kit alone, I don't. I haven't even seen farming numbers, by the way, but I assume Val Valks will, you know, outdo him. Maybe at MP5 he could match. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, if I had to place him right now, so fresh off the assassin list, take this with a grain of salt because this is like just first impressions. I think he would be at least eight here. <laughs> Oh, that, that was 39 stars, you're right. The star gen buff. I, dude, it's, I, I have level 2 skills, by the way. They're not even high on the uh, the effect numbers. Imagine if I had better skill ranks as well. Look at those stars, bro! How many is that? 40? From an, from an MP gain mighty chain? Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, he's crazy for stars. Crazy. So there you go. Drip Hassan is real. So while he probably won't farm as well as Summer Valks do, he will still be relevant on bosses and that's nice. And if you're a really big enthusiast, I'm sure you can make his farming work too. Maybe even better than Valks if, you know, you do some proper investment. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, do me a solid and press the thumbs up button, okay? Really helps out. Also, do subscribe not to miss out on future videos because next, I think I'm still doing... I, I might not play the uh, Singularity yet today, but I think I'm going to check out the uh, John and Jolter animation updates next. So if you want to see my reaction to those as well, stay tuned. And uh, again, good luck if you're rolling for either Mr. Drip Hassan or Marie Alter on the current banner. And otherwise, I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and a peace out.